There is a law called the Pareto's principle. The Pareto's principle says 20% of your investment brings 80% of your result. That means 20% of your friends are the ones that add the value to you. Find out who these 20% are and then look onto them and stay with them. Manage them properly. Then find out who are their own 20%. Then get their own 20% to be your own 20%. That will be 16% extra. And if you do that because you have to understand if you cannot count, you cannot be rich. You must understand mathematics if you want to succeed in life. And so 36% will give you 96% result. Focus on the 36%. Ignore the 64%. There are people that are wasting their time around you. You don't need people that waste your time. You are going somewhere. You are somebody on a mission. If you are going to win tomorrow, listen to this instruction. That it is your target that determines your direction. Determine where you want to go. That target will determine your direction. Your direction will determine your association. You need to connect yourself. Where are you going? If you are going to Ogun State, you need to know that, I mean, to Lagos State, you have decided your target. You have no business going to Abuja. You decide your target. Your target will determine your direction, and your direction will determine your association. A lot of people make the mistake and decide that let them first be associated with somebody. Then they follow that person. Hopefully, they'll get to the target. You will never get there. One day, my daughter is eight years old. When she was seven, she came to me and says, Daddy, on Thursday, I want to buy a plot of land. I said, what? Plot of land? I said, go and buy. Because I wanted to sleep. So I said, let her go buy. I did not know that she was not talking about the land outside the house. She had decided that she was going to buy a plot of land. The next morning, she came to my room and said, they have come to pick her. I said, who? She said, from, a, from the agency. I said, which, which agency? said revolution, I mean, is it a P, P, P1 or whatever they call them. I said, okay, let the senior sister, you know, follow her. Let it be a excursion for them. Let them open their mind. So they went. Now, my house is somewhere in Aja. And where this land was is in Dangote refinery side, over one hour. So when they were going, my senior daughter said, this place is too far. The baby told her it is because this is their first time. A man with a vision is a madman until the vision comes to pass. Sarah got there. That is Sarah. Stepped on the land. <laughs> and said that the, and said to her that she's ready to buy the land. They said that she has to fill a form. She filled the form. They said she needed somebody to sign for her. She said she can sign for herself. Sarah is seven years old. She signed the form, sir. After signing the form, they said she has to pay 540,000 naira. Sarah went to the car, brought out her piggy bank, removed 27,000 naira, gave to them. They told her, excuse me, it is 540,000 naira. Inside the piggy bank, there was a sheet of paper that I wrote that I would give her 100,000 naira. Promise you, not me, I've forgotten. She brought it and gave it to them. They said, okay, it's 427,000 naira that is left. Sarah looked up, said she will get it. She came to my room and then wrote again that, Daddy, please, I need 400 and something thousand. I said, what do you want? She said, to buy land. I said, okay. I said, I wanted to tamper with her brain, tamper with her future. I collected that 27,000 naira. Let it be that something happened to her at the age of seven. Sarah collected my ATM card. She had my PIN number. Went and swiped that card. I felt as if blood has left my body. She came back to me with two sheets of paper. Number one was receipt of payment of 540000 Then the second one of commitment to buy six more plots. Today she has six plots of land. Question one, what were you thinking of at the age of seven? I needed you, I needed that to sink in your head. Sarah sees me writing on the wall, writing my plans, my projection. I am running away from poverty. So I walk 24 hours. I'm running away. I know what it means to sleep on the floor. 
My bed is not soft, it is hard. Orthopedic mater mattress. I can't sleep on a soft material, on a soft bed because I have tampered with my body. I have learned to sleep on concrete. If the pillow is not hard, I cannot sleep in that place. Forget with the suit I'm wearing. My brother, I have seen 99. I have chopped coconut without water. I have eaten beans with everything apart from toothpicks. I've eaten beans with everything. Beans and biscuit, beans and bread. I mean, beans and uh, biscuit, beans and bread. I have sampled everything. I am 48 years old. I cannot run faster than you. My bones are weak. But what is my responsibility? To hand everything in my life to you so that you can take over this earth. If I go and I don't hand over the most irresponsible father on this earth, I will not allow you go empty and dead. I will give you a, a part of my spirit to win because I know what it means to fail. I graduated with a third class extra year from the University of Calabar in 1996. I know what it means to depend on somebody. I know what it means to be a, a security guard in a church for three years without salary. I know what it means to be disowned at the age of 19. I know what it means to lose a father at the age of 13. I know what it means to cry at night. I know what it means to beg somebody. I know what it means to follow somebody to somebody's house to go and eat. I squatted even when I got married, but I got tired. You need to get tired of this stage. You need to get tired of this stage. My mom heard that I was doing education agri. She disowned me because I was a shame to everybody. Anybody that called you a shame, the person spoke to you. The picture you see there is a picture of me, not Photoshop. And I tell everybody, whenever you see the glory on anybody, Ask them for the story. If the person drives to your house with a G-Wagon, ask him, Oga, what did you do to buy the G-Wagon? If the man cannot tell you, his glory is fake. Are you listening to me? Because a lot of us, we have chosen mentors because of the size of their car. We have chosen mentors because of the size of the Agbada. We have chosen mentors because of the type of shoe that they wear. We have chosen mentors because of the kind of money they give you. If that man is a thief, one day you will lie for him. There is a spirit in people. Be careful who you say, my leader to. COVID-19 is just a wake-up call. Artificial intelligence is coming. And I know that Ogun State or your state, Lagos State, are the pioneers of this intelligence. Because they've said in future that all these factories that you have 500 staff, that when they start deploying robots, they will only put one man and one dog. Robots will take over the whole place. Why is the man there? The man's responsibility is to put food for the dog. What is the dog's responsibility? To make sure the man does not touch the machine. If we don't learn quickly, You'll become an entertainment tool tomorrow. God bless you. God keep you. Have a fantastic day. You can do better.